Okay, should be finally getting on the road here. I apologize again for the delay. First time Jill and I are doing a multiplayer tour. It's not an official uh, part of Euro Truck Simulator. It is, uh, I guess, an aftermarket add-on. Um, but it's been around for a long time and it does work very well. It's a big following. As you can see, there are lots of trucks on the road. Maybe I'll try the CB radio. Hello, Trucker Jill. This is Trucker Jared. Go ahead. We'll follow. Okay, so I don't know if she actually found an empty trailer or if um, she might be using the uh, there's a new heavy loads downloadable content uh, with with new heavy trailers you can tow around and I wonder if if she might have one of those trailers and I'm just not able to see it because I haven't purchased that yet there are empty trailers available which are nice to pull around because you can accelerate a lot quicker and I might even end up running a red light to, just to keep up, but nice we didn't have to there. So yeah, I'm going to leave my virtual other mirror on for now. I don't want to run into anyone if I'm switching lanes definitely going to get a, uh, a head tracking setup working as soon as possible. Uh, that would be perfect in this game to and the other racing simulators I drive just to uh, you know look over and check your mirrors, blind spots, etc. the volume levels are okay yeah unfortunately I, I can't see my OBS right now see where everything's at but yeah we'll check this stream when, when it's over and make adjustments for the next time <laughs> Jesus it's got some speed going So yeah, it's been a, a long time since I've played this game, and I have to say it feels great to be back. Um, it's got a great vibration, kind of a purr of the engine through the, the force feedback while you're driving. Um, I've always found the engine noises in the cabin to be too quiet. You can use mods to simulate opening your window. It uh, makes everything a little louder and more immersive. Uh, in multiplayer, we'll just have to go outside to get louder sounds. Well, I didn't really have to worry about that speed camera. I've had my foot to the floor for the last two minutes. Oh, we're finally breaking the speed limit here. So I have a, 
as with any simulator, this game has many buttons that you can program in um, to control all your different, you know, lights, cruise control, radio, um, horns, everything. And I, I usually set up my steering wheel as best I can, and then I, I also use an extra game pad for like my radio volume, cruise control, resume, uh, looking around. But looks like I didn't have it turned on when the game was relaunched, so so I've lost my cruise control. This is awful. Try not to crash while, while getting a bit of a, a view from the outside. It's sometimes very tricky to drive like this. Yeah, I like using the outside view because you can actually hear the turbocharger. I've always found it interesting to drive in this view and try to stay on the road. They let you do this in multiplayer, but can't take a screenshot, I don't believe, without stopping your vehicle. Yeah, See, I can't even take a screenshot while I'm driving, but I can go to that outside camera view and crash into anything I want. So yeah, I still have my foot just pinned. We're doing 101, 102. I'm not too worried about speeding tickets. It looks like when I re-entered the game, it fast traveled a bunch of years and accumulated all my money that my garages would have made over the time. So, so we're doing just fine as far as money goes. <laughs> I even I even went uh, pretty sharp into that turn to give that guy lots of room and he still smashed into that barrier. See another truck coming up on us. Down to single lane. I'm gonna feel bad if there's any big hills. Yeah, like this guy behind is already honking. But I mean, hey, I'm going over the speed limit. This little V6 is doing the best we can. Okay, taking a turn here. That was a tight on-ramp. Must be one of the sharper ones in the game. See, I don't want to follow super close, just in case there's any, any lag. Um, I'm on a European server because that's where most people play and 
I'm being from Canada, Jill is in Germany, I'm expecting a little bit of lag and I don't want to cause any accidental crashes. Okay, so we're going to make a stop in Zurich here. I guess I should have uh, changed that waypoint on my GPS at the beginning, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, my 2 of 4 is a Horizon 3 stream tonight. That game is sweet. Okay, next time I'm definitely going to pick a lighter trailer until we get the big dog engine. Okay, let's try the CB radio. How do we know if it's working? Okay, let's go here. Hola, Jill. Good driving. I don't know if it's working. I think if we hold down X, it's supposed to. She's probably dropping off right over there, so I'll just wait for the green light. Don't want to cause any accidents in the city. I just told her to go drop off her trailer. That was nice, she was waiting for us. <laughs> Bonk. Well, actually I'm just gonna uh, go park kind of out here. I don't want to have to turn around in that yard. Put on our hazards. What do you think of that truck, folks?
and you can see how many people play this game. Um, you know, it, it's a giant map of Europe, and, and on the large server, any place you go, uh, there's right now, you know, I can see probably 20, 20 different trucks in my vicinity. The multiplayer, you do lose the standard road traffic, um, but when you're on a server with this many trucks, it doesn't seem to really be missing too much from the game. Okay, so Jill's going to drop that trailer off and find a new trailer. And then we will continue on. Let's take a look at settings quick while she's doing that. Okay, so this is the current map. You can see we traveled from Stuttgart to Zurich, and there is lots more to discover. So Joe's going to pick up a trailer. We'll continue on nice. Nice look. to Milano. She says she has a trailer to... Nice. Where is that? Trailer to... Nice. I wonder if that's part of her new French DLC. So yes, I'm thinking that she might be headed maybe to somewhere in this part of France that I don't have access to. Um, maybe maybe goes through Milano. So let's see what she says. So I'll, I'll probably stream for another 5 or 10 minutes. I uh, don't want to go too long just in case something is awfully wrong with the quality. And then I'm sure we'll be back very soon with some racing in a set of Corsa or, or truck driving.
petit câblage pour le démarrer. Okay, yes, yeah, so her route does go through Milano, so we're gonna head that way. I don't think we'll make it the entire distance before I shut the stream down, but uh, we'll see. See how it's going. Okay, so I have to turn around. Maybe I'll go do that. In a weird way. <clears throat> Okay, where's the green dot? It's Jill. There she is. We'll go catch up. I don't know if she's gonna do a repair. She might have got some damage on her truck. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy in there. Maybe we'll go wait around the corner for her. This is mayhem. Tempest Wheel. Yeah, we can just wait on the cobblestones. She's just having troubles finding me, so I was just typing to let her know we're just around the corner. Guess we should have the hazards on. Sorry guys. My bad. I see Jill moving. <laughs> now stuck on a truck going around that corner. Okay. She's moving, so we'll go in front.
I do like the mix of uh, my old school Mercedes and her her new school Mercedes. It looks good together. Well, I already got my red light signal offense, so I guess we'll keep going. See where I'm from after you come to a stop here. Allowed to make a right turn on a red light as long as it's safe to proceed. I know it's different in Europe. Where did Jill go? I wasn't watching. Must have hit something. <laughs> I think that's her back there. Can I still zoom in? Yeah, that's her. Okay, let's get going. Okay, my friends, we've been streaming for a little over an hour. I think that was a good first test. Uh, we will be back soon with uh, 
smoother, more exciting content. I'm just gonna pull into the gas station here. Hopefully Jill will follow. That'll be a good place for me to uh, shut down the stream for now. I'll probably continue recording in case anything exciting happens on the road. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This Euro Truck game is very boring, yet it can be extremely uh, relaxing and beautiful. Uh, so I hope to show you some of that in the future. Until next time, you guys uh, take care. Thanks for watching.